On the streets of Moscow, a walk through the past, a tour to learn about Joseph Stalin's repressive legacy. Uh, giving back the memories of that time to the people. Back then, hundreds of thousands came to mourn. Today, Stalin is remembered for his brutal dictatorship and the millions who were murdered or died in gulag work camps. Sergei Krasnoselsky was just five when he was in the crowd for the state funeral. Now he's on a guided tour, which may be one of the last ones done by the human rights group Memorial. The rest of the world is learning from the past, he says, but in Russia, they're trying to forget it. For more than 30 years, Memorial, a renowned human rights organization focused on those persecuted in the past and today. The group is now under threat itself from the government. There's only one word for this. They're bastards and crooks, one of its employees said. Russian authorities are trying to shut Memorial down and have taken the organization to court. This week, a few hundred of its supporters showed up at a hearing. Memorial is accused of violating foreign agent laws and supporting terrorist activities because it publishes lists of political and religious prisoners. Even though Russia has seen a brutal crackdown on opponents and an increase in politically motivated arrests in recent months, the move to try and close a vitally important human rights organization has stunned Memorial supporters and many members of the public. It's written where he was born and where... Particularly those who helped find out about their own family history with Memorial's help. This is, was very emotional because... Uh, it's everything what left from my grandfather. Alexander Korobochkin's grandfather was a pilot who was arrested and shot in 1938, and his other grandfather was sent to the Gulag. I, I sent letters everywhere. Each place where I, sh I, I, I thought that I can find answer, and I couldn't. It's very difficult to imagine that they, they tried to close a memorial. On these shelves are just a tiny fraction of files related to those who died or disappeared. Uh, we can't be sure about the whole extent of the repressions that took place uh, during the 2030s. There are millions more stories that still need to be compiled and a great risk there might not be anyone able to do it. Friar Stewart, CBC News, Moscow.